coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Yeah, man, I'm talking no words, no nothing. This sucker hit me straight in the eye, boom. So I'm like, I stumbled back off the rip. I'm like, oh, it's on now, you know, and, and that was it. I shook myself off, I shook it off. He, he come at me. So as soon as he come at me, I catch him, boom, boom, drive him back. He, he realized now, yeah, you done effed up. You, yeah, this ain't what you thought it was gonna be. So I drive him back and I charge him. When I charge him, he charged me. I'm trying to swing, I swing, he ducked, it hit him on the top of the head so hard it hurt my hand, but he grabbed me. And he dragged me down to the ground and now he on top of me. Worst thing you could do in prison, in the cell, in the fight, is go to that ground. Even worse than that, go to that ground and you got a bigger or a stronger guy on top of you, right? This is the situation I'm in now. He bigger than me, probably stronger than me because he, he, he kind of he diesel. Right, and like I told y'all, this time I'm still I'm still a real little dude, right? But it, you know, the fight in me is 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 you know undeniable. I'm you gonna have to you gonna have to you gonna have to take me up out this earth. That's what you gonna have to do to me when you dealing with me. So I'm tussling and rumbling with him. He got me there. He trying to get me in a position where he can ground and pound me, where he can you know get my hands out the way and just you know do what he want to do with me. Ain't gonna happen. I'm holding on to him, we tussling, we scrambling, we all there on the floor. And I'm asking him, like, really, because that's the only thing in my mind. I'm like, what, you know, what the hell's wrong with you, man? What's, what's, what's wrong with you? You know, and he lets, he just swinging and he just holding and tussling. So he close up on me now, so I, I can't see. I'm telling him, let me up. He ain't responding. He just going wild like a wild man, right? All you can hear in there, I know people in, in the block is like, what the, what, you know what I'm saying? Because they can hurt. It, you know, we just, we in there, we turn the joint up. So, I see he ain't going to let up off me or get up off me. So, I'm holding on to him, got my legs wrapped around, and my face is like right where his chest at. <laughs> I try to bite his collarbone, but I couldn't get his collarbone. I bit him right up under the collarbone. And I'm just, I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to rip it out like a pit bull, man. I'm trying to rip his chest out. So I, he starts screaming and hollering, ah, then he's just going wild on me, trying to hit me, try to get me to let go, but I'm shaking and holding, and then he pull away. So when he pull away, I reach back and kick him, boom, and that drives him back. So when I kick him and drive him back, I can get up. Once I can stand up, then that's when the business comes. So I stand up and I go to get him, but I had a, 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 a quick thought, just like a moment's thought, and you in the, you in the moment, you in that 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 time, you you know what I'm saying, things is coming through your mind so fast. Now, I got a weapon in here. I ain't got that Bethlehem, which I wish I would have had. I didn't I didn't have that Bethlehem in there at that time. But I got like a um if anybody been in there in the weight rooms, they know like the little three pound weight collar that go on the the, the end of the weights, them big, big weights, the big ones, the ones you see the steel, like you see the big boys lifting in college and stuff. When we was, when I first got locked up, they still had these. They ended up taking them weights off the compound because Zeus was getting the head busted open, getting beat with these weights and all types of other stuff. But at this time, they still got it. So I ain't, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't stole a little three pound weight collar from off the weight pile, and I didn't put that in a belt and tied a laundry bag around it. So that's my weapon. If I, if I cuck you with that, man, you, you. <laughs> If I cluck you with that, that means, first of all, you was trying to harm me. So I ain't got no uh, remorse about what happens to you if you're trying to harm me. So if I cluck you with it, it's a good chance on, you, you know, you're going to take that helicopter ride and go see somebody. And you better hope they know what they're doing because you might be going about you, especially if I cluck you in the head with it. And, you know, like I say, I know that sounds crazy, but that's just how I was living because I won't let nobody harm me. So I got that in there and I, my... Thought is to try to grab it, but if I try to grab it, I got to pay attention to him because he coming at me. He trying to hurt me, and I don't want to, you know, take my focus off him. That's what happened. How he punched me in my eye the first time. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm, 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 I'm looking at him. I'm sizing him up. He tried to chop. Bang, bang. I drive him back into the wall. He fall back. He stand up. But he faking like he know how to fight. But he can't. I can tell the way he hold his hand. So I'm like, yeah, okay, what's up? What's up? I charge into him again. Hit him. Crack up. He grabbed me. But he, I stretch out this time. Like position my body where he just can't just do what he want to do with me. So then we just tussling. We locked up. I'm trying to hit him with some some shots, trying to make him let me go, hit him with some uppercuts. He's still trying to hold on to, but I'm I'm giving him some good shots. He bleeding and everything. Now I, I know I done club. I hit him in his nose one time, so flat I know his nose is probably broke. So we in there, we tussling, we turn the joint up. It's, it's blood in here, and then the police come running in there. You can hear him. I can hear him when they coming. Keys jingling and everything, so they can hear the noise of somebody that said something. They coming in there, they come eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen deep, right? So we in this joint rolling. They come to the door first, they now, hey, hey, y'all, step away, step away, separate, separate. Nah, ain't nobody doing that, you know what I'm saying? We we in the, we in the heat of battle. I'm not gonna just pull away and then this 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 joker don't stop and just tee off on me. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. So they bust the door. Bum rushing there on us, drive both of us to the ground. They just piling in, piling in, man. It's like, I don't, it's like cockroaches, man. Just getting on top of each other. They just all jumping on us. Now we all in this little eight by ten cell, pent all to the ground. All these big old COs leaning on top of us. Four five COs on each one of us, pinning us down, twisting us up. You know what I'm saying? What's going on here? What's up? What's going on here? I don't say nothing. I'm feeling, you know, crazy. I ain't did nothing that, that you know to, to to cause this, but yet at the same time, here I am, pinned to the ground, arms twisted, feet twisted, ankles being twisted, all of these jokers on my back. I feel my eye, feel, <laughs> my eye feel like a a boiled egg, and I'm like, man, how in the heck did I get in this situation from just minding my business, just minding my business, man. I ain't asked for this joker to come in my cell. I don't know this joker's name. I don't know nothing. Now, that's like I say, I'm out of my comfort zone now. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to get a charge, which I did. I'm probably going to segregation, which I did. They're going to rummage and, and go all through my property, which they did. They're going to find the weight in there that I got, the weapon. That's another charge, which I got. So, all of this just because... Somebody else got a problem with, 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 with somebody else. But now they're gonna make it my problem. You put them in my cell, well, I'm out of my business, and now his problems is my problems, and now me and him got a problem. You see what I'm saying? So this is prison, y'all. This is prison life for you right here when you think, okay, I'm in here, I'm gonna mind my business, ain't no drama gonna come to me, I ain't into this foolishness, I ain't into no games, I ain't into no drugs, and it don't even work like that. It don't even work like that, I'm trying to tell you, man. I did not know this dude. I ain't had nothing to do with this cat. You know, later on, I tell you, I found out who he was, what he was, or whatever. But at that particular moment, that particular time, I did not know this dude from the man on the moon. And he came in there and interrupted everything I had going on. Everything that I had going on. And I'm just being honest with you, I tell you the truth. I could not see him no more. I was looking for him, man. I was hunting, hunting this dude like a hunter. If I would have ran into him again or ran on the compound with him again, and I was going to do the same thing he did to me. The same exact thing. A unannounced attack. I was going, but mine was going to be way more vicious than what his was. His was a punch to the face, unaware, you know what I'm saying, unprovoked. And, and <laughs> Might as well going to be a little, a little bit different than that. But, you know, I couldn't see him no more, man. I end up, like I say, going to segregation. Got a charge for fighting. Got a charge for possession of a weapon. You know, all of this, I'm back there and say, I'm sending the word out, man. Who is this joker, man, that moved in my cell, man? People is asking me, what happened, bank? What's going on? I don't know this joker, man. They bought this joker from another compound. He came in that joint acting crazy. We get in there. We get it in. But... You know, let me know who he is. If you know, let me know if he coming out on this yard. If he come out on this yard, they let me out on this yard. I got to have him. I got to have him. There ain't no answers or buzz about it, you know. And like I say, I couldn't get off on him like I wanted to get off on him in there because I, I, I wasn't prepared, which also tells you, you learn as you go. Like I said, I'm early in my bit. 
you learn as you go. Stay ready because you, you, you might not have enough time to get ready. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't fully ready for that because I didn't anticipate that. So that was a learning experience for me that I learned from to take later on down in my bit. I never had another celly after that that I didn't look at with, with a crooked eye as soon as they walked in the cell. No matter what they look like, no matter what, I always had my alerts up. You know, like, you know, tell what this joker might do. I ain't turn my back. I ain't, you know, especially the first 24 hours, I'm feeling them out. I'm listening to his attitudes. I'm listening to watching his movements, his body language. Because dudes will try to rock you to sleep. And I'm telling you, you get crazy, crazy dudes, man, in there. I mean, real certified crazy. You get dudes in there, like I say, they do stuff like that for no reason. You get a, you might get a dude to be in there for two or three days and act like he aight, and you go to sleep, he might stab you in your sleep. He might try to bust you in your head in your sleep. He might break, slam your TV down when you go to eat. You know, you might go to, go go out to wreck or something and come back. They had one dude, I might do a story, but they had one dude, He every time he get a seller or something, and as soon as he leave out, he stay in there a week or two or whatever. As soon as he sell it, go to wreck or go to eat or something, he just break all of his uh, 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 property up. Break his TV, break his uh, 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 headphones, you know, uh, cut up all his clothes and stuff. And then go check in the hole before you even get back to your cell. You get back and find out all is gone. And then he gone and you can't get him. You can't do nothing to him. It's crazy. These are the type of people that you might encounter during time. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. But be prepared. You see what I'm saying? And like I say, it was a learning experience for me. I I, I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't hurt them the way I wanted to hurt them because I wasn't fully prepared. I just was in a fight. And when you're in a fight in the cell or you're in a fight in prison, you are literally in a fight for your life. Because if a man can get you down on that ground in that cell and it ain't nobody in there to help you, man, he gonna do you dirty. He, he gonna do you dirty. You gonna be reliant on his mercy, to have mercy on you. You cannot put yourself in that position because he might not have mercy. You see what I'm saying? You can't replace your teeth. You can get somebody else's teeth. I don't want nobody else's teeth. I want my own teeth. You can get somebody else's teeth. You can't replace an eye. You know what I'm saying? Broken limbs. You might heal, but that scars for life. You know, you get stabbed. You know, you might get a colostomy bag. Anything can happen to you. So you got to prepare for everything. When you in this type of environment, man, because you literally in a war zone and war can break out at any time and it can be unprovoked war. It can be unprovoked. This was unprovoked. I end up finding out later on, I broke his nose, you know, but, and I bit a plug in. So he gonna remember me. Ain't no question he gonna remember me, but he ain't gonna remember me like I want him to remember me because I want to do worse to him because you, he had no business, you know, making that move on me for whatever them people did to you and whatever mood you was in, whatever type of situation you was going through, you brought that to me, man. And and, and if you out here now on the street and you can see this video, if I see you the day on the street, man, I, I would hope I got enough uh, uh, knowledge under my uh, belt right now and enough uh, 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 wisdom to just look at you, man, and just salute and just keep on walking. But in my mind, I would want to, to <laughs> you know, I don't even like to think like that. But, yeah, that's just, you know, the the um, the um nature of me because I know that I don't try to uh, 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 disrespect nobody. I don't try to come at nobody sideways. I definitely don't come at nobody with no lossing. And I ain't going to do nothing to nobody unprovoked. So when people do that stuff to me, then I got a whole different mind frame. Like, man, I, I just don't, I ain't got no love for you, man, when you when you, when you coming at me like that. You know, because I'm not that type of dude. I'm always try to play fair, and I'm always try to give you, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the best version of me. But if you come at me with that crazy stuff, man, shame on you, bro. Shame on you, man. But yeah, he got away, you know, to me he got away because, like I say, um, I was green, and I ain't know nobody. But I learned from it, you know. And you get a lot of dudes in prison, they don't learn from those situations. They get in the they get in them situations over and over again because and sometimes them situations break them. It scam and shake them up so bad that they don't even know how to, to, to deal with the situation. That's when dudes start losing their mind. That's when dudes start turning to other stuff. Dudes start using drugs, dudes start trying to take them away from the prison. You ain't gonna be able to get away. You ain't gonna be able to get away. You just there. No matter where you go, even segregation. 
you there, bro, and you can't get out of there till they let you out. That's why the only solution to this situation is don't go to prison. That's it. There's no other solution besides just don't go. It ain't no other solution. Don't go. Because when you get in there, man, anything can happen and anything might happen. And that's that's a fact, man. I know plenty of cats that was in there that was just caught up in a bad situation. You know, caught up in a bad situation and ended up in prison. And a lot of them ended up with more time than they actually deserved. But just humble, decent dudes. And not just criminal dudes, but just humble, decent dudes that got caught up in a bad situation. But once you're in prison, don't nobody care. You know, don't, don't nobody care. They don't care how you got there. You know, they don't care. They just know you there and you're going to just have to deal with that environment. You're going to have to deal with whatever's going on around you. You're going to have to figure it out. If you don't figure it out, you end up being a victim, you know what I'm saying, to, to whatever may come your way. You know, and the, 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 the crazy part about it is, you know, you can defend yourself and get in trouble. But what's the alternative if you don't? What's the alternative? You see what I'm saying? You could get hurt. You could get damaged for life. You, you could get killed. So you have to be able to decide which one you're going to do. You can't just sit there and say, well, I'm going to let somebody do this to me or do that to me because I don't want to get in trouble and end up staying in prison longer than I have to. Well, what if they do something to you that you can't recover from? Yeah, that's how you got to decide how you want to live in prison. That's when it come down. That's when you got to make that decision. How you going to live in prison? Because that's the thing. You got to live. You got to live. Them gates and doors ain't going to open till them people let them open. So you can't focus on them opening that gate. Neither you can't lock your mind in on, I just got to get through this because all I got to do is get to this amount of time. I got to make it here. Nah. It ain't going to work like that. You got to focus on day by day. Because when you're looking at that gate, you're going to miss what's in front of you. And what's in front of you might be a mic truck. You might get ran over. So, like I say, prison is a different place. It's a different type of animal. I just don't recommend you go. That's the best advice I can give you. I just don't recommend you go. If you're out here and you're in this free world and you got some things going on in your life, you got some problems, and you or you on at a crossroad, and you thinking about doing this, you thinking about doing that, you thinking about, I got to make something happen, man, you better take your time. <laughs> you better take your time. You better figure it out and work it out. You better take your time. Don't let nobody trick you up off these streets. Don't let no situation trick you up off these streets. Don't let no uh, 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 ego trick you, up off, trick you up off these streets. Because let me tell you something, whatever you got going on, or whatever you think your problems may be, you take that and you times that by 100. And then divide it by 200. And multiply it by 1,000. That's what's going to be going on when you get inside them walls. That's what's going to be that much worse. It's going to be that much worse. So... Keep that in mind because even no matter what you're going through out here, it, it can change. It can get better. And you got uh, freedom of choice. You got freedom of choice to make different, you know, uh, uh, moves to, to, to better your situation, to, to, to make things get better. You do not have that behind them walls. You're going to do what them people tell you to do. That's what you're going to do. And if, to the biggest gangster, to the, the baddest, you're going to do what them people tell you to do. At the end of the day, you're going to lock up in that cell. That's period. At the end of the day, you locking up in that cell. If you don't lock up in that cell, they will put you in that cell unconscious or they're going to put you in the hospital or they're going to put you in the morgue. Period. Ain't no other way around. So, take advantage of the freedom that you got, man. Take advantage of these uh, stories that I'm telling you. Learn something from them. Understand that you're in a great position right now by not being incarcerated. By not being in the belly of the beast. So you don't have to go. Because you get up every day. And you can make a decision that no matter what's going on. I'm going to keep on pushing forward. It will get better. This too shall pass. And I ain't got to go that route. Because I can tell you right now. And I say it all the time. And I'm going to continue to say it. Shout out to all my comrades and soldiers still doing time. Still fighting for their liberation. I got dudes that call me every day. What's up, man? Man, what's going on? Man? And they trying to get out here. 
They trying to get out here. I was that dude not long ago. So I know. So I know it ain't nothing to me because of my experience and my knowledge now. It ain't nothing to me worth going over there. Nothing. Nothing. Whatever you tell me that you think is worth, oh, I, I, I go do some time for that. Tell me. And I can show you where you don't want to do it. See, it's one thing to say something, but be able to prove it. I can prove to you that it don't add up. The math is not going to ever add up. The, oh, this justified. I, I, I got to go to prison for that. He did this. I got to do that. Nah, it ain't going to add up, bro. It ain't going to add up. I don't care what type of math you use. It's not going to add up. You know, so like I say, just, just, just focus and just keep on pushing forward because it's a lot of situations that I came through in prison. I'm lucky. I'm lucky, you know, and then I realized, like I told you, I don't even believe in luck no more. Luck is just God, you know. So God got me through my situation. God got me through my situation. I'm blessed that he was on my side. I'm blessed that I had a praying family. I'm, I'm blessed that I was a praying, believing dude. So that, that was a lot that helped get me through these situations because, like I say, it was times that I didn't think I was going to make it. It was a lot of times I didn't think I was going to make it, but I came through it, and that's why I'm trying to get this good knowledge to these young brothers out here, these young kings, to let them know, man, and the queens, and the queens, you let them know, don't let no situation put you in a worse situation. Don't let no situation put you in a worse situation. Think your way through the situation, man, and, and, and um, it'll get better. It always will get better. But I appreciate that y'all taking the time to listen to these uh, uh, stories, man, these uh, uh, uh pieces of my life that's stuck in my brain. I'm sharing it with y'all. Hopefully, like I say, there's a, a, a lesson, a blessing in every lesson. So, you know, the blessing in this lesson is, man, that I made it through these situations by the grace of God. I, I, it, all of these situations, every one of them that I'm telling you about could have been worse. Every one of them could have turned out a lot more funky. You know, I, the dude could have, you know, he could have got me down on the ground and and just did me dirty. I could have hit my head on some. Everything in the cell is steel and concrete. I could have easily been hurt or been went unconscious. And it ain't no telling if I would have ever woke up because it ain't no telling what he would have did to me. You know? So, situations can always turn out worse. I could have had that Bethlehem in there and he could have came in there and swung on the wrong dude at the wrong time and I could have took his life and I could have felt justified but the people still would have probably crucified me. But at the same time, like I say, every situation, there's a blessing, man. And the blessing is I made it through it. God got me through it. And I'm out here to try to teach all these lessons so you'll never have to go through these type of things. So you tell your kids, your nephews, the young people, the youth around you what prison is really like, man. And it's not no place nice. And it's not fit for human beings. So that means it's not fit for any of us. So, uh I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next time. I got some more stories for y'all coming. I got them on deck. I'm going to let y'all... Uh, well, I was going to decide which ones to do by asking y'all, but then if I do that, I'll be giving you a little hints too. But I just got so many of them. I got notes and notes and notes that I write down uh, to remember to tell the story. Remember to tell that story because it's in my head. So when I think about it, I say, well, remember to tell the story. Remember to tell that story. So I'll be forgetting sometimes. So now I start putting notes to just, just remind me just I just had to say a name in my mind and I can remember the story, the incident, and everything. So I got more to come. Y'all just stay tuned. And as always, man, I love y'all. I appreciate the support. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell somebody about these uh, 33 years of prison stories, about this banking pan YouTube, about this movement. Bring them over here, man. And if you watching this right now and you have not subscribed, you have not hit that button, and you 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 not liking these videos, you not sharing these videos, ah, shame on you. We got to do better, man. We got to grow this thing so we can get this message out here to these people, get this message out here to these young cats so we can put something in their head, something might trigger them, something might spark them to, 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 to stay on that right path no matter how hard it might be. It's showing up better than what's on the other side. So that's what we're trying to do over here. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Be safe. Be smart. Make good decisions. Team Banky Pound, stand up. See y'all next time. Boom.
Anything special. special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.